All right, guys, welcome to Unity Tutorials in under two minutes here. So in this tutorial here, I want to talk about creating an on-click method for a button from here. The only thing I have in this project here is I went ahead and made a script here, but this script is completely empty there. There's nothing, no changes to it, okay? I'm going to right-click in the hierarchy right here. I'm going to go to UI here, and I'm going to select on a button right from there, okay? Now, there's a bunch of different things you can do with the button here. You see it also creates a canvas. I'm just going to go ahead and hit enter, and I'm going to move this to the center of the screen here. Now, whenever you're working with UI or really anything in general, it's important to keep in mind that what project and think about what project you'll be working on here. Number one for things like smartphones versus desktops here the aspect resolution but also if you have keyboards come up here it's going to take up some of the screen here too right so if i had the button in the center here and i start to change it to something different here well the button itself is going to move around based on it's going to change its size based on the device that we're working on here okay so it's important to keep that in mind anyways from here i'm going to go ahead and open up my script i'm going to make a brand new method here right below here and i'm going to make a public void and assuming call let's just call it uh let's call it just it's just ASDF right now here, okay? And we're just gonna do a debug.log. And we're gonna say, hello world, semicolon on the end here. And let's go ahead and save this from here. And we can go ahead and minimize this down here. I'm gonna go ahead and go to my button. Actually, before I go to my button, I'm gonna drag my script onto the onto something in scene here. Then I'm gonna go to my button from here. I'm gonna scroll down here to the onclick method. I'm gonna go ahead and hit the plus sign here. I'm gonna find the game object that the script is attached to here. I'm going to drop this down here to button here, and I'm going to select ASDF, which was the method from here, okay? Let's go ahead and save this here. Let's go ahead and hit play. And you'll notice that in my console, every time I hit this button here, I have this debug log statement hooked up here. Now, this is very basic. Of course, you could hook this button up to other stuff here, too. I just want to show you guys how to do something basic here, okay? It's a great job in this video. If you guys enjoyed it, be sure to check out my Udemy courses. The, are in the, the, the links are in the description down below. You guys did fantastic. Of course, we go much more into detail with my courses. Great job, guys. I'll see you guys in the next one.